Hi, my name's Jimmy Edwards, and I'm going to be talking to you about the um, Connect Green Screen program, which I've adapted from the Connect SDK sample. Okay, let's load it up. Um, this is that I've changed the title, we've added our logo in, and we can also enter the subject as well as the teacher. And you can do the class as well. Now, the reason um, we need a green screen at Saltash is that we do a pro... A, um, a course called Creative Eye Media where the students have to create movie um, trailers and the idea was to make sure that they don't get boring movie trailers where they're just filming around the school. Um, you also notice the other difference is that we've got buttons down the bottom to change the image in the background so if I wanted a Robin on the moors or other pictures going along. So say for example I chose the moors, I can stand in front of the connect and um, as you can see, it looks like I'm there. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but it's a lot better and it'll be a lot more imaginative than just filming in the corridors. You can change the pictures in the background. So it appears whatever you, whatever you want in the background. Really, as long as you've got the image, you can actually put that in. Um, we've got Neo Mode if you're using the actual um, Connect for Windows sensor. I'm actually using the Connect sensor from the Xbox and uh, you can have as many people as you can cram into the image you can see it's detecting the fingers and the hands so it is, it's fairly good I mean by all means it's no perfect green screen setup but it'll do for what our students need it to use there will be a generic one where you'll lose the logo and the actual saltash.net name on there so you can actually adapt it for your own classes uh, what you can do as well, if I just go back into the image, okay, and if you click on the screenshot, it'll take a screenshot and it'll say that the screenshot is saved in my pictures. So if I go to uh, my pictures, let's have a look. There it is, the connect snapshot. Open that up in Fireworks. Okay, just loading that up, and you should see, again, you can see the picture of me looking quite shocked. Um, again, you can edit that and use that for whatever you want, depending on how many people are using this. What you can do as well is in the actual files, you can actually change the background images yourself. So if you download all of this, you've got the background images, all you need to do is get four images or sorry, five images, um, label them background, background one, background two, background three, and background four. Make sure the, the, um, the make sure they're 640 by 480, as you can see. Um, each one of those there, and as soon as you dump them in, you'll replace those images, and they should appear in the background when you run the program. Um, please check out the Pill Network, which you'll see a link in the blog post. Um, for any help on creating Connect programs as well as the K-Team for other programs we've got. Um, thank you very much for um, listening.